My name is Kenny Dial and I want to welcome you to the scuba diving channel. This channel is for anybody that is aquatically inclined or just aquatically curious. My next guest is Susie McDonald out of Clearwater. Susie is doing something very breakthrough and that is promoting the dive industry no matter what agency you're with, growing professionalism, bringing all these people together, giving everyone an opportunity regardless of their background or regardless of where they're from and also put together a large group of professional women that teach and that are boat captains and lead dives as dive masters. Really just a positive force for growing the dive industry. Susie McDonald. Susie, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about what you do on the day to day. Well, since I've retired, I uh, became a dive instructor and was lucky enough to be adopted by two Shea Charters as a dive master. Which we and are sitting on now. I have been with them about five years, working as a part-time dive master, and then the past few years has been more and more uh, my full-time job. And currently, we are undertaking a little more of an expansion and moving into more dive instruction. You said that it was you, you were doing this with a bunch of women? I think wow. we, we've got more female instructors right now than we do have male instructors. We represent all agencies. We don't worry about what agency you teach with. We all help to you know, improve each other, support each other, and really match up a client with the right instructor. We've got some very, some young instructors that people really resonate with, and then you've got the older instructors like me that the mom that's putting her teenage son in the water really <laughs> feels better having a mom. It's really been interesting working with the diversity and having so many more women in the leadership roles. What is it that was missing that you guys are bringing? I, well, I think it's what's missing is the ability to genuinely be a dive master, really respect the ethical code that you agree to, and understanding your the level of responsibility for a dive master. Bring that level of um, professionalism and importance of that role. Along with our captains, a lot of dive masters never work on a boat, but when they're doing certifications, part of your uh, duties is being a crew member. And you don't necessarily learn that in your, in your training. That kind of background, having captains that want to mentor dive masters, is amazing. A little bit more in depth than just the, the few e-learning right, <laughs> clips right. they saw. So I think that's what we're bringing. We bring a group of professionals helping to build more professionals. Like you said, somebody for everybody. But also when there's a group there, I feel like there's just a lot more accountability. They're borrowing and stealing, uh, which is the good kind of stealing, uh, ideas from each other. Would you say just, just putting them all in one spot makes them all do better? Absolutely. I think what's missing in the industry sometimes is ongoing mentorship because a lot of uh, instructors want to guard their secrets. You know, that tendency to want to say think that you've got the best thing ever and I've, I created this versus I learned this from somebody else and I think it's awesome and I'm going to implement it. The diversity of our instructors from young folks who just went right in, you know, they're in their early 20s to folks. We got a lot of retired military. You know, I've got 28 years in the Army, so I bring different leadership skills to uh, diving. There's a mix of the young and the old, not old, us, us, um, people in our prime that bring different qualities to the table. And I think that's what sometimes is missing when you're just a dive shop or you know, a instructor you know, out there trying to just teach your style, you get stale. I've heard it time and time again where continuing uh, to learn and adding new classes is what keeps it exciting. I have a deep belief that you, know, you can either be a victim or you can feel, be empowered. We can help to create opportunities for others to be empowered, to build their dreams, to go after you know dreams that they thought they could never have, and creating those opportunities for them to excel. That's what gives me the most satisfaction. You know, love being in the water, love you know bringing new divers in, but I think for me it really is seeing that bigger side of it. So what is actually going to be left behind, and are we making the world better? Uh, the old saying, always leave the wood pile a little bit bigger than when you got there. That's kind of my goal. I want to leave this you know the dive industry the building of a community a little bit bigger, a little more collaborative, a little more professional and understanding and, and taking the pride, taking the pride in being a dive master, you know, getting rid of that reputation that dive masters are, you know, dope smoking, beer drinking, you know, slackers who don't really have a want a real job to realize it is a profession. You guys obviously run a successful operation here. You're growing, your boats are beautiful. You got an awesome crew. What do you think made you successful if you could pin it down to one thing that was the most, I guess the biggest contributing factor to your success? Taking the time to listen to them, understand what their needs are, not putting yourself first. 
you know, seeing the bigger picture and acknowledging, I, like, I, when I retired, my retirement speech was based upon, you know, in life you have to carry your own weight and share each other's burdens. And the more weight you can carry, the more the team can carry. We don't want to say caring about others, just helping them to grow so the whole team grows. Somebody that wants to come and join your team, how would they find you? Come out and you know, be on the boat and see if it, this is so not it's like a dual interview yeah. almost. Like we're not for everybody. Checking. Yeah, we are not for everybody. We've got about 25 people on our roster right now. Some that maybe only can come out here uh, once or twice a month and run a boat. We're, we've even instituted this monthly call, like Zoom calls, communicate on different professional level development things. Last night, we spent a couple hours talking about dive safety briefings with our dive masters, coaching and mentoring. The dive masters right now is part of the group. We are working on all of our dive sites out here and plotting them and making their a good site briefing so we all can share that information. You know, working collaboratively to get people to enjoy this area. Best thing about diving in the Gulf. Every time I go, I see something different. Uh, there's a couple great artificial reefs out there, the Pinellas County Artificial Reef System. A couple wrecks that are out there that are, are amazing to look at. Circle Heroes, there's uh, two years down or so and watching the growth and what's come around there. I remember you see, when you see baby eels underneath statues and you see little fish, yeah. you get that time. You go down the ledge and you're down underneath and you're looking at different things, looking inside of the whole, some of those holes, some of these little caves are in there. You never see the same thing twice here. So I think that's what I love about it. I love the fact that it's never the same dive. You can dive the same site every day. Take your time and look what else is out there and don't just be buzzing by wanting to just see sharks and you know rays and you, you might see them take appreciate the smaller things well cool no. well that's perfect thanks for coming on absolutely if you want the full-length uncensored interview go to sweetwaterscuba.com